Hey teacher friends, welcome to Sutton Teaches Secondary. I am Miss Sutton, but you can call me Marquita. And it's a mini vlog. So today we have a minimum day. And so we have some time this afternoon to get some work done. And it is my goal to be as productive as possible. <laughs> So we shall see what happens. I'm going to take you along for the ride for a little bit. I am hoping to finish a few projects that I need to do with the Cricut. And I'll show you those. At least one of them. I'm hoping to get done my like above the board project. And I'm hoping to get some grading done. And we'll see what else gets done. So before I get started with my stuff, I do want to show you what I am working on. Um, so I have, I taught two of my three preps today. So I taught AP. We are preparing for, um, our unit two test, which will be on poetry. One of the things that I feel like has been helping is us doing like little mini practices where they're just focusing on like writing thesis statements. And then I showed my example um we've been watching the ap daily and like ap classroom stuff a lot and that's been really helpful let me know if you teach ap and if you're using any of that stuff as well it's actually been proving to be pretty helpful i must say and then for my regular english 12 class we are doing projects and they'll end up looking kind of like these so they're doing like oh wow i'm in the middle of the <laughs> so they'll end up being like collages or artwork kind of like this um students are creating a visual representation of poetry so for my regular english 12 class we read poetry by latino poets in honor of latino heritage month and in celebration of latino culture and so um, they get to choose one of the poems from the unit and do a visual representation and then they also have to write a justification about what they did and it should turn out pretty good. They got started today, yesterday and today, because I had one class yesterday and another class today. And they both actually like were pretty cool with it. Like, oh, hey, that should be good. And I've done it in the past and students like it. So I'll keep you posted. But first, I'm going to finish getting things kind of settled and cleaned and like ready to work in here. I'm going to have lunch. And then I'm going to get some work done and I'll take you with me. But now they're gold. Yes, finally. And what's so funny is 
I did not have to do a ton to make that happen. But the issue was getting the Cricut out. One, I had to bring it from home or I would have to take this home, take the paper home and do it at home. But turns out I brought it here, I brought it to school. Ended up making t-shirts for my children's halftime performance. So I had to bring the Cricut to make all the t-shirts. So since the Cricut was here, I figured I wanted to, I knew that when I had this day, I wanted to get all that done. And I'm, you know how you just kind of get tired, like you have all these projects that you start and then you're tired of seeing them be halfway done. That's where I am right now. Cause I had told myself I was going to leave at three. It's 3.20. So the goal is to leave in the next 15 minutes or so. So I'm trying to boogie. I have a little bit of laminating to do. And then I have a, I have to put my rules up because this whole time I have been operating without my expectations up or my golden rules. Um, so, I mean, the students know what they are, but I just like to have them up. So it's kind of like all the little basic things that I've been needing to put up, I have not been able to do. I had to buy more laminating sheets, which that's what I'm taking care of now. This is my first time using the Amazon Basics ones. We'll see how they go. They are noticeably a little thinner than the Scotch brand ones, but they were also a lot cheaper. And I like that. I like the price of these better. So hopefully they work. And if they do work, I will put them in the description below, in the description box. So while that warms up, I'm gonna set that to the side and then I'll show you my golden rules. Ooh, that box doesn't close well. So I printed my golden rules, right? All directions. And I only have four of these that I have to do. Um, I wanted them to look a little, I guess this would be like Art Deco. I don't know. I just wanted them to look a little simple, not too, not too much because they're gonna have all the gold behind them. And I made these. I think I made these either on Canva or I wonder if I made these on a regular Google Doc. I think this is possible on a regular. No, I don't know. I don't remember where I made them. I'm sorry, y'all. I'd have to search for it. Either way, they're gonna go on top of the gold. Bam! So that it looks like that. Bam! Isn't that nice? I originally was going to put them in frames, and I still might put them in frames a little later, but. For right now, this will work. The only thing that I'm worried about is if I have enough space to do all of them. And I might not. There's always a caveat. Okay. And the other thing is, this is always the issue with laminating. And tell me if you figured out a workaround for it because I have not yet found a teacher hack that that will work other than paying for lamination or using the school laminator, which I ain't got time for that. I gotta walk all the way down there. And like ours is not one that you can just like use in a certain place. I've got to submit it to the office and let somebody in the office do it. And at that point I've been and forgot about it and all that stuff. So anyway, um, so yeah, how do you laminate papers that are bigger than eight and a half by 11? Because they do not fit in the laminator. And if it's long, but still, um, 
and the width is not an issue, then I could see how that would work. Because I could put two together, right? Um, like I can put one halfway in and another halfway in. But when it's long and wide, like these will be, that's where the issue comes in. Which is why I originally said I was just going to put them in a frame. But I didn't want to buy any more frames. And the paper is still bigger than a frame. I'd have to get those certificate situations. Also, I'm using this tape because it's been my experience that with this kind of like sparkly paper, you don't get, um, it doesn't stick very well. see my laminator is ready we can't see if it's right here I will also say this I was super scared to laminate this um, sparkly paper because I was afraid it was gonna take away the sheen um, but it did it it actually made it better so just a little thing, if you are doing gold in your classroom or silver or any of the metallic colors, um, it actually doesn't look bad underneath the laminating. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. All right, it doesn't look bad. This is uneven, but I'm going to cut it anyway. See, it looks, it still looks, it still has like a little sparkle to it. It just, it feels like it flattened. It's like if you flatten an image, that's what it feels like it did. All right, I'm not mad at the Amazon Basics ones. All right. So there we go. Yeah, it worked out fine. So I'm going to finish gluing this stuff down and then hang it up and we are going to wrap this thing up. Okay, so I figured out how to go without paper. Actually, it worked out really nice. So I had one more piece of that long, what was that, 12 by 24 paper. I had one more piece of the gold and that did two of them fine. And then it left me with a nice little chunk at the end and I used that and combined it with the leftover paper from my Cricut scraps because they're the same paper same colors you can't even tell right so it's all jacked up in the back but in the front you can't even tell so it makes me excited so i'm gonna hang these up i'm going to hang up my standards and agenda and such stuff that is well past due i'm gonna clean up and i'm out <laughs> that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare into my eyes I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away, 
here. Uh, they have been missing for so long. It felt so incomplete around here. <sighs> and now this side matches the other side because I had things up on the other side, but I didn't have them over here. So I did pretty good. I stayed about 20 more minutes than what I planned, but I'm still happy with everything getting done. And I feel like it's one thing that I can actually officially check off the list and I don't have to keep coming in here every day and seeing this and going, ah, oh, this needs to get done. So teacher friend, this is your reminder that if you've been wanting to do a project or you've been wanting to jazz some things up in your classroom, rip the band-aid, just do it. And there's never a time of year that's perfect. Do not feel like, well, we're supposed to get our classroom together in the beginning of the year and now it's October, November, so I guess it's too late. Nope, it's never too late. I've been doing this for 12 years, it's my 12th year. And every year I'm still fixing things as the year goes on and changing and adjusting. The classroom's never perfect. It's a, it's a place full of life and it's living and breathing and all the things. So you got time. So as soon as you get, you know, a little extra time, I know that's a joke, whenever that extra time is, you know, make it happen, rip the bandaid. You got this. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing, oh my gosh, I'm in love. Oh, it looks so much better. The tan was killing me, y'all. I literally spent like a month and a half just staring at this tan going, I can't wait for it to leave. And I finally did it. So anywho, teacher friend, if you are new here, why have you not subscribed? You know that you enjoyed it. And if you are not new here and you're not subscribed, hello, subscribe, support the channel. You don't wanna miss out as always. You are amazing. Bye.